Hey everybody, today we're going to be covering the mutant version of Merida. So Merida is a free-to-play hero that they have introduced the mutation to. So to get the mutation, you will click your radar. Come in here, complete your radar missions, whether you're doing the attacks or the Dark Legions, whatever ones it is. Once you complete them, you have a chance to get the possible loot. Um, they did possible loot because that way then they can use it for both the high, heavy trooper and the mutated heroes, in case you guys were wondering. Uh, you can click your little global investigation button. In here, you'll see the mutation investigation, and right now she is currently the bottom one that says follow her. Uh, once you get these five items randomly through your radar missions, you'll have a button at the bottom that says like complete, or I don't remember exactly what it says, or collect. Click that, and you'll get a vial to mutate Merida. Um, I'll say it was kind of strange. I actually got all five of these in five missions this time. It didn't take no 20 missions or anything like that. So it was hundred percent obtaining just to let everybody know. So once you have gotten your vial, come into your heroes and click on Merida. And all you have to do is click this little button right here. My arrows are beautiful in case you guys are wondering. And then down at the bottom, you'll see cost for mutation one of one and you can mutate. So this is her mutated. So her mutated stats for her skill are your naval units in the second row get a 100%, 120% HP shield. And then after launching a regular attack, release skill to silence one random enemy hero for the next two regular attacks made by the enemy. The silenced hero will not be able to trigger the active attack skill. So if you go into your heroes up here near the top of their name, you'll see these. If you click on this, it will kind of show you the different like stats of heroes. So with Merida, you'll see she has a debuff skill and she has a support skill. Now if I go into Megatron, you'll see right here attack skills. What the, her skill does is it limits anything with that. I will show you Cromwell as well so you can see that even though it's a rage skill, it's still considered an attack skill. So she is able to silence them for a couple turns. So what this does is basically it gives you a huge HP buff on your middle row and those three middle rows will all trigger a silence to an enemy hero. It can re-trigger on the same hero so you could basically re-trigger two times every round. The problem is it doesn't stack so if you re-trigger it's not going to um, go through and say okay instead of one it's going to go to three and instead of two it's going to go to four. It's just going to go back up to two each time. So that's kind of the downside of her silence. But there is the possibility that you silence all three heroes, which I tested five different times now. And I had twice silence all three. And the other three times I had it silence just um, two of them. So it's one in three chance of which hero you're going to hit. So that's kind of something to take into account. Another thing is she does have her exclusive skill, which... The regular part of the exclusive skill increases the HP buff, and then the other part, the levels, is a 30% HP for all units, a 45% attack for all units, and a 30% all damage increase. That's kind of big. Um, I think that's where she would become useful, is if you have that level 7 skill. She could definitely be plugged in if you're still running Bylos or things like that. I could see her being useful. Possibly replace Nemo. I'm... It's kind of the same concept, except for Nemo's Rage. So um, my thoughts on that is if you're not running Nemo, but you're still running Aaron and Akatora or whoever you may be using, that's still a Rage hero. That causes Aaron to just add the Rage to just that hero, which causes them to trigger more. While she still does the silence for free at the, your fourth attack. So something to weigh into it. That's how I'm going to use her. If I can get her skill to level 7, I'm going to replace my Bylos with her just because that 30% damage offsets Bylos attack. And then it also has a 45% attack on top of that. But until I get that, I'm not going to use her. Um, if you're free to play and you need a Navy hero, though, definitely now the new best Navy hero to plug and play, um, especially as you get that skill leveled up. Other than that, I don't have a lot to say about her. Um, again, I, I like to point this out. If you guys have these mutated heroes and you have them being used for something else, you can use this little button right there that I showed and you can flip them back and forth to their own model. 
And what you're able to do is as you do that, if you say you wanted to use the original model as the your gather, say she had all gather skills, you can flip to the mutated model and you can also flip the skills. So don't forget there's two skill pages here. So you could use them as both because once your troops and your heroes are out gathering, you're actually able to just have it, um, the stats and everything stick. So you can flip over to your skill, your attack skills or whatever other skills you want to put on your heroes. So with that, I hope you all enjoy the content. Please remember to like and subscribe if you do and see ya.